Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joined today from the Fitchburg Fire Department and Rescue. I'm adding that on now because that's just the way I roll. It's Adam Dorn. Uh, Dorn, welcome back to the show. How are you doing today? Great. Thanks for having me back again, Jeremy. Well, thank you for coming back. We've got a really good uh, uh, show for you here today. This interview is all about Fire Prevention Safety Week. It's here and we're ready to make it happen. And this year's theme is learn the sounds of fire safety and an interesting topic because uh, we know to listen for it, but it's forever changing. And this whole week, we're, uh, we're going to get into the different sound. We are going to break this down, but but overall, this uh, Fire Prevention Safety Week, uh, what's it all about there, Dorn? Right. Actually, uh, National Fire Prevention Week has some pretty uh, horrific uh, beginnings, so to say. Mm -hmm. um, in 1925, President Calvin Coolidge proclaimed Fire Prevention Week a national observance, and therefore, this is the longest-running public health observance in our country. Um, the reason for that um, is that on October 8th, 1871, the Great Chicago Fire happened. Um, it killed 250 people, lost left 100,000 homeless, destroyed tens of thousands of structures, burned 2,000 acres of land. But that kind of dwarfs into the other great fire of the day. I mean, everybody's kind of taught about this whole great Chicago fire, but the Peshtigo fire up in Peshtigo, Wisconsin, actually was more horrific than the Chicago one. It actually claimed 1,200 lives. Um, and it burned, basically, if you think of Green Bay, north into upper Michigan and from Green Bay up to Sturgeon Bay. That whole area was part of, was basically on fire during the Peshtigo fire. Wow. So that's where this all kind of started. We, uh, the National Fire Protection Association back in uh, 1922 started this observance saying, hey, this is something we all need to be aware of. Yeah, and uh, we're going to actually talk uh, at the later part of this week about uh, those two fires a little bit more in depth and, and just the importance of, of Fire Prevention Week. Uh, as far as uh, the things that happened during this week and, uh, and, and talking about the importance of this week, uh, what are some of the things that fire departments are going to do um, across the nation? Well, depending on what their uh, status is and their restrictions are in place with the with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, some places may actually be able to hold an open house. You might be able to come in, uh, do stuff like that. Uh, here in Fitchburg, we're not gonna be doing that. We're actually taking it to the streets. We're gonna go out to two different areas of our community and bring our, our uh, education to the, to the neighborhoods. Um, so you'll see that, you'll see uh, people going into the schools, firefighters going into the schools, because that is a huge aspect of this is that we want to teach young people about fire safety and so that they can take that with them throughout their lives. We teach them young, they, they remember that. Absolutely, and uh, we talked about this a, a little while ago when we were previewing uh, this week uh, as it is. Uh, and uh, just again, exposing uh, uh, children to fire safety, fire careers uh, and more. Uh, why is it so important and why do you, why do you really hark on the youth? You really, you know, I, and you and I discussed this too, that we both remember our first fire visits, you know, whether it was, uh, at the fire station or them coming to the classroom. I mean, that's, it really sets a precedent for, for kids. It does. Um, young minds are very impressionable. And I mean, I remember a lot of things from my childhood that if I wouldn't have started to learn about things at that time, I probably would not have had any interest in becoming a firefighter when I did. Um, it was always something that was there for me, but the older I got, the more interested I was because of all the other things that you can do as a firefighter. So it was, it's like I said, they're very impressionable. And when we can make that contact with them, um, it allows us to, to explain to them that, you know, we do make a difference in people's lives. You do have a great career. It's not something you have to spend years of school, you know, years of your life going to school for. It's something that maybe takes two years of school to get started. And then after that, you continue to learn. And that's one of the big things is that the learning never stops here. 
Um, so it, it's very big that way. Um, all right, Adam, uh, turning the attention uh, to the next generation of firefighters, firefighters in our community. I know fi the Fitchburg Fire Department uh, has also been on a real big recruiting, every, uh, uh, you know, really public safety in general. Um, uh, but that's a big goal uh, in the fire department and why we talked about, uh, you know, the importance of taking this out on the road uh, into in different parts of the community. But uh, how does that play into uh, uh, this year for you guys uh, in your for, uh, fire prevention week? So one of the things that we have always struggled with, and I think a lot of fire departments do across the nation, is having a fire department that represents the community, that it looks like the community that they serve. And that's one of the goals that we have is to try and make our department look like the community that we serve. Um, so by going out to our youth now, yeah, it might be 10, 15 years from now before they can actually join, but by going out and getting into the community, we can plant those seeds and you know, let them know that this is a true opportunity for them for long-term, for their careers, for their, you know, for their lives, to have to bring back to the community, give back to the community. Um, this is just an excellent way for us to do that. All right, Adam, well, I appreciate your time. Uh, we'll be uh, discussing various topics all week long, uh, including the sounds, uh, specifically the sounds. Um, action plans. And of course, we'll have a little bit more further discussion uh, in fire prevention as well. Dorn, thank you so much. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeremy. You bet. Uh, Adam Dorn, Fitchburg Fire Department. And again, uh, check uh, the website. Great tips on the Fitchburg Fire Department's website uh, for if you're looking for fire prevention tips. Take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 